Hi guys, I'm Hendo and I'm going to show you how to sew a spidey suit. I usually start with the legs and then do the torso and back. So let's get started. Most suits are laid out a little like this. I use this as a guide throughout my first time sewing. It makes it really clear which pieces go where. We're going to start with the legs. So now you're going to cut out your pattern. You can worry about cutting the feet more precisely later. We're just going to sew the legs. I have an overlock stitch, so I'm going to cut pretty close to the pattern line. If all you have is a straight stitch, then you might want to leave like a half an inch or an inch of room. So now it's time to match up the edges. On Gwen you should match up the shoe, but on Spidey there will also probably be a fair amount of webbing to match. You should line up the pointy outer edge of the leg to the crotch a little bit past the middle. You can see that I'm going to pin it at the foot and then sort of line it up on my way to matching up the crotch and then pinning at the crotch. If it's your first time, you can add a few pins in the middle before you start basting. So now you can start a basting stitch, which is basically just a loose hand stitch instead of pinning. Pinning works fine, but a basting stitch will let you sew more accurately in the machine because it lays flat so it has fewer gaps and slips around less. You also don't have to take out pins, which is nice. I baste directly on the pattern line and then sew just inside of it so that the line doesn't show. The basting stitch is kind of a pain in the butt, but a really good preliminary stitch will make sewing it in the machine just a thousand times easier. You can see that it doesn't have to be really close together or straight or accurate. It's just enough to hold the costume together without letting it slip around. So before we start sewing, there are a few stitching options. Not every machine will look like this, but most of them have this top row of basic stitches. The first two are straight stitches, one's aligned on the left and one's aligned in the center, and you can tell because of the little dot. I'm going to use these for the zipper and for joints between the fingers on the gloves. But since my machine has an overlock stitch, I'm mostly going to use that one, and that's number 8 on my machine. Most machines will also have zigzag stitches, which are somewhere in between the straight and overlock. These are better than a straight stitch for a stretch fabric, but if you have overlock, you So now you can start stitching. Don't forget to add a back stitch at the beginning. On my machine, there's a little reverse stitch button, but on other machines, you just hold down a reverse lever and press on the sewing foot as normal. Stretch fabric is pretty slippery, so hold it and pull slightly as you sew to keep it straight. Just don't pull too hard or it'll stretch the fabric and it'll get kind of wavy. As you sew, the suit may bunch up a little bit, as you can see in the video, and all you have to do is lift up the foot once in a while, flatten the basting stitch again, and then just keep on going. Once you're done, you can snip the basting stitch and pull it right out. So once I have that first stitch done, I usually like to flip it right side out and see if I have any gaps or places where you can see the pattern line. Here I have a few spots where you can see the line a little bit, so I'm going to move my stitch in a little bit closer when I go over it a second time. I like to do at least two stitches for all of my seams because I'm pretty active and I'm usually stretching quite a bit whenever I'm posing in this cosplay, so I want it to hold up really well and not break open when I'm bending over or something.
Next to sew is the hips. On Gwen, make sure to match up that white stripe that's on her hip. On Spotty, look out for any web lines or any blue sections. Again, all you have to do is cut out the pattern and then baste it or pin it. I'm also going to cut out the booty part, which should line up at the center of the crotch. So now it's time to sew the hips. Don't forget to have a back stitch at the beginning and the end. Always double check that your pattern isn't showing through. Um, when I sew the butt, I usually start at the crotch and then sew up instead of sewing from the top down to the crotch. It usually just lays a little bit flatter. Um, also to help it lay flat and avoid it bunching up and looking like you have camel toe. Um, after sewing the butt seam, I go over the leg and crotch seam one more time, starting from mid thigh to mid thigh. So now I can go to a mirror and check the fit. It might take a couple stitches to get the hips just right. You can see that on one of the hips I didn't finish the seam straight enough so now it's a little bit pointy so I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, I can also check and make sure that my hip stripes have matched up and they look pretty good on this one so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, you can definitely see that the thighs are a little bit wrinkly which shows me that it's way too loose. So I'm definitely going to take that in and then sew the crotch in a little bit further too. Remember that the fit will be a little bit different once you actually sew the feet in. So you don't have to go overboard with making it fit right now. You just want it to fit pretty well for the most part. Now it's time to sew up the back, which means attaching the green and blue piece in that reference to the red torso piece, which is what you've been sewing already. I like to lay it all out and sort of get an idea of where all the pieces attach together. On Gwen, you're going to match up the pink part that's by the underarm, and also um, where all of the black meets on the back. On Spidey, you're going to be matching up the reds, the blues, and all of the webbing.
Now you can start sewing. I start with the bottom, sewing from the middle back to the side that meets with the rest of the suit. Then I take out that basting stitch and start sewing the side. It's easiest to start a bit lower on the side seam where it's already sewn together, then sew past the connection, and then up the part that's unsewn all the way to the armpit. Sewing the seam like this helps to keep it smooth. It's sort of like what we did for the crotch. Then all you have to do is the exact same thing for the other side. Next you're going to sew the middle of the back, but only a couple of inches at the very bottom so that you have room to sew the zipper. On most patterns there's a line that indicates where to start the zipper, but if you don't have that, just make sure that you kind of start it where your tailbone is. Congrats! You have a huge chunk of your spidey suit done. The next step is going to be sewing the invisible zipper, which I'll go over in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching!